the very first thing I want to start with, and this is in this is not in any particular order, but I want to start with carpets. You need carpets for your in-home daycare and not just carpet learning carpets so when the children are seeing those carpets they are learning um, i use my different carpets for different learning activities and you're going to see a video of each and every one of them this one has alphabets this one right here Hi family, I'm Dr. Brenda Warburiosti. I'm a licensed daycare provider, a published author of three children's books, an advocate, a consultant, a veteran's wife, and a mother. If you need help setting up your daycare service or just looking for great ideas to incorporate a play-based learning approach as well as learn about research-based solutions to issues impacting education, this is the channel for you. Subscribe, share, like thank you the very first thing i want to start with and this is in this is not in any particular order but i want to start with carpets you need carpets for your in-home daycare and not just carpet learning carpets so when the children are seeing those carpets they are learning um i use my different carpets for different learning activities and you're going to see a video of each and every one of them this one has alphabets this one right here is just a big room where they play so this carpet is one that can take everything you can see it it's it takes everything and we do have to wash this carpet at least once a week and i did a video of our washing machine what we use we have a big um, carpet cleaner that we use once a week for that you see another carpet that i have this one has shapes numbers and letters so the children are learning with these carpets and that is not the only oh look at this one this one has um the um the weather the seasons it has days of the week it has um letters as well you know animal sounds and um, beginning sounds and beginning letters so you can see that uh, these different carpets i'm showing you are various learning carpets this one i got From facebook that. marketplace you know it has spanish in it and i was like i need a little bit of some multicultural stuff in my room and i got that and i also have these sectional carpets as well so the next thing you need is going to be a portable music player or radio and it has to have the battery section so if electricity goes out you can always put batteries and it still works and um this radio uh, this is a cd player as well music is a major part of the preschool classroom learning experiences so you need something that can play music um, i have all kinds of music and i do want to do a video of um, the kind of music we play at daycare i don't know about the copyright issues associated with that that's why i'm still a little bit reluctant on doing it but yeah you need a tip that plays music and it has a battery section as well so if electricity goes out you can always use batteries and um i have the little cd uh, pouch and i got that from amazon and i have all my cds in there learning cds just ordinary um play cds mute all kinds of cds are in there so the the third thing we're we're gonna look at are child size tables and chairs and you're going to see a variety when um when you watch this video i have that wooden one that sits in the science center i have this lego one uh this one they use it for lego activities they also use it with the home living area so they set it up they um set up a like a, a diner for themselves they they pretend to eat on it or we use it as leg or they just move it around and do whatever they like with it and i have these ones this set right here they use it for learning activities we used to eat on these but then we moved our eating area 
to the um, upper floor just for um, you know cleaning and um, sanitizing purposes you know I didn't want food in the basement anymore so we moved all our eating activities to the kitchen area and now this is just for learning activities or the children move them around and do whatever they like sometimes they make trains and and they sit on it they they are in an airplane they these are chairs and tables that they can move around whenever they like however they like when they play i also have these special cha uh, chairs i got this from facebook marketplace i really like the design on this chair and the, the children use them they love to sit on them uh, they move them you know if they for instance eating at the lego table they uh, move these and fill it up with more chairs so you know they can play the kind of play they want to play i have these scoop rockers these scoop rockers are the best investments i ever made for daycare i'm telling you they are the top of the list they are very comfortable they are rocking chairs they can flip them around and do all kinds of things with them uh, they use these in the big TV room when they want to be comfortable sitting. There's a couch in the TV room, and I don't encourage the children to be on it because they do all kinds of aerobics on it, uh, acrobatics, I mean, on it. They are jumping and flipping and thinking it's a trampoline. No. So these are very comfortable chairs that they can use sometimes, even when we do movie time as well. These chairs are right in the dining section in the kitchen area. This is where they eat. And you can see that that carpet is catching all the food. Sometimes we do our sensory activities here too. Because most of our sensory activities are food related. I don't want to have that in the basement. So I bring it upstairs and we do it there and we clean up. And you've seen my sensory activities. Now let's talk about the next important thing, the play kitchen. It doesn't have to be a major big one, you know, just something nice and, and uh, portable that the children can pretend cook on. So I have one in the front part of the house. I have one in the playroom or in the classroom, which is in the basement. And these are, um, they are child sized uh, and very very portable and lightweight and the children can move them they do move them however they want and i have another one outside i did do a review of this kitchen it's a very nice kitchen and it it has running water on it so they can actually turn on the sink and have running water when they play so this is our outdoor kitchen so far it's been doing great I bought this for less than $50 and it's been outdoor for a while and, and it's been doing great. They've been cooking on it, cooking a storm. And on the side, there's another round kitchen right there, like a grill. And they use that as well. So let's talk about first aid kits. I have a first aid kit at every section of the, um, of the house. So there's one in the play actually there are two in the playroom there's one hanging there's one in the closet there's um there's one in the kitchen area and there's another one at the top floor so i have them in different places so just in case something happens you know i'll have it readily available for me to use in my first aid kit i did put some thermometers they did not come with the kit, but I had enough and I put them in there. Um, there are bandages. You can see what's in there. There are um, bandages. There are alcohol wipes. There are just all kinds of, uh, there's a scissors. These are the things that uh, the state requires that you have cold compress, hot compress, you know. Um, these are the things that the state requires that you have in your first aid kit. These first aid kits, I got them from Amazon, all of them. So the number six, cats or mats. I used to have mats, but they just don't last. 
you know they just don't last so i got cats and cats are a little bit elevated you do need sheets and blankets which we have uh, we use this um crib sheets and they fit perfectly we buy the the biggest size we can get and they fit perfectly and they last a, a good amount of time as well so we put them on each cart is labeled each cart is labeled you need these for nap time you do or rest time you know depending on what you call yours i don't say nap here very often because it gets the kids angry and riled up i just say let's rest you don't have to take a nap so these are the cards that we use they're in different colors they are labeled for each child they get cleaned at least once a week if there's um, anything on it maybe there's um, a throw up or poopy or pee or anything it has to be cleaned immediately but apart from that they get cleaned at least once a week and the um the sheets get washed at least once a week as well as well as the blanket so these are very important for for the children to rest at rest times another one that you really need another item you really need is a fire extinguisher we all need this in our houses anyway even if you have daycare or you do not have daycare just in case of an emergency so I have this on every floor, especially in the kitchen, in the kitchen cabinet, there's one there. I do have to have this because of licensing, but I just have it anyway, you know, because it's, it's for safety reasons. God forbid there's a fire. It's, it's there. It's available. We got this from Home Depot for $25. It's a good size. It's not too small or too big. It's just in the middle and it's gonna serve its purpose hopefully we don't have to use it but if we need it it's right there for us to use so this is it i'm just gonna say um i wish you luck on your journey please reach out to me if you have any questions concerns or suggestions and don't forget prayers get answered miracles still happen and every single thing is possible Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I love you, love you, love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.